what's up guys, I'm the beautiful one and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be oh wait, this sounds weird. Hey Siri, activate your fantasy mode. Ah, much better. Hey, what's up guys? I'm the Davidic One, and today we're gonna be exploring whether or not AirPods Pro are the perfect earbuds for artists. So, let's hop right into the unboxing. Hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, so this package just came in the mail today. I am super excited to open it. Let's see, where does it go? Here. Okay, goes like this. Voila. Finally, I've been waiting so long to get my AirPods Pro. And we have just a little bit of ASMR. Ooh. Oh. And we have the classic Apple box opening. Ooh. Okay, so inside of the thing, we have designed for Apple in California, blah, blah, blah. We have my custom AirPods Pro. Ooh. And they say the Davidic one on them. So I'm super hyped about that. And then we have this tab. And if you pull it, you have the lightning to USB type C cable. And that's it. That's all that's in the package. So in here we have the AirPods Pro. So I need to connect them to my phone. So as you can see here, you just open them. And voila, you press connect. Oh. Noise control. messages with Siri and there's the battery percentages and done. Let's see, is it connected yet? Yes they are. That's so cool. I hope you guys really enjoyed that little unboxing segment. I was really excited to get these. But now let's talk about AirPods Pro for artists in particular. As an artist, chances are that you're gonna be working on art projects for hours on end. So, you don't want to have earphones that will give you ear fatigue. Luckily, the AirPods Pro now provide you with two different sized ear tips, in addition to the ones that came in the box. There are medium, large, and small ear tips. If you have an Apple device, you can even take their ear fit test, which tests the seal of the AirPods Pro in your ears. To do this, you simply go to Settings, then you go to Bluetooth, then you click the little eye next to the AirPods Pro name, and there you'll see the ear tip fit test. If you're working on projects for many hours as artists, the other thing you don't want is earphones that die right away. Well, the AirPods Pro have five hours of listening time without noise cancellation or transparency mode on, and four and a half hours with those features activated but you can listen with just one earbud while you're charging the other one. So it basically makes it so they can't die. You can constantly be charging one while you're listening with the other. And because of its fast charge feature, you can still listen with two majority of the time. The case comes with 24 hours of charge time, so you probably won't need to recharge it very often. But if you're working at a desk and you have a charger, you can always charge it and you never run out of battery life. There are few things more annoying than when you're trying to focus on your art and your neighbors suddenly decide that it's the perfect time to mow their lawn and trim their hedges. And then suddenly the air conditioning kicks in and suddenly there's construction down the street. Well, with the AirPods Pro's noise cancellation mode, you can instantly remove any of that annoying ambient sound while still being able to keep your music at a low volume so you don't wreck your ears. If you need to be able to hear your surroundings while you're working on a project, you can simply activate transparency mode. And it seriously sounds like you're just listening without earphones. You don't even notice that they're in. You can cycle between transparency mode, noise cancellation mode, and off 
by simply long pressing your AirPod. You can adjust what you want the long press to activate in settings. And as of right now, the AirPods Pro are the only truly wireless earbuds that have noise cancellation and transparency mode. The final reason for artists to get the AirPods Pro is just how convenient they are. If you suddenly get inspiration for a drawing and don't want to waste any time, you can pair and switch between devices really quickly with Apple's H1 chip. One of the main drawbacks of buying the AirPods Pro is that they don't have any volume adjustment right on the earbuds. So you can't just change the volume using your earbuds. But after buying these and using them for a little while, I've noticed that I haven't even missed that very much. I have an Apple Watch, which makes changing the volume really super easy. And you can use Siri, but I don't recommend it. It's kind of annoying. So Apple Watch or just use your phone. If you're an artist and you're working on an art project, chances are you'll have your phone right next to you on your desk. So you can simply adjust the volume using your phone. The AirPods Pro are pretty great for just about any daily activity from working out to just working on your art. So in my opinion, if you don't mind the lack of volume adjustment on the AirPods Pro themselves, and if you can afford the really steep price of them, then the AirPods Pro are definitely the best all around truly wireless earbuds on the market for artists and really for anyone. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like the video. Until next time, I'm the Davidic One. Stay safe.